Hi everyone, in this video, we would discuss how we have to go for systematic literature review and bibliometric analysis, as well as we would like to discuss what is the difference between systematic literature review and bibliometric analysis. I find this particular paper that is published already in Australian Journal of Management, it is a very good paper in detail. They had explained what is the difference between systematic literature review and bibliometric analysis. And I have given this paper link in my description box. So I'm sure you can go through this paper and you can apply in your research. So here is literature review. I mean, this one is the abstract already given. This article details methodological steps for conducting literature review in a replicable and scientific fashion. And as well as there is the discussion about the bibliographic mapping approaches to visualize bibliographic information and findings from a literature review. So here is we will uh, talk about how it this paper is divided into various parts and uh, we can see here number one is introduction there is the researchers typically collect available evidences on a topic or issue prior to conducting a new research to assess the state of the already available evidences as well as here is an important distinction between narrative reviews and systematic review is that systematic reviews differ from traditional narrative reviews by adopting a replicable scientific and transparent process. In other words, a detailed technology that aims to minimize bias through exhaustive literature searches of published and unpublished studies and by providing an audit trail of the reviewer's decision, procedures, and conclusion. So I'm sure this is a very good distinction between uh, narrative literature as well as systematic literature review. The idea behind a systematic review is to systematically collect available evidences and then offer an evaluation of the evidence against predetermined criteria rather than offering an unsystematic review of only some studies that are deemed as suitable by the researchers. As such, a systematic review can offer a balance between comprehensively identifying a large pool of publications and systematically identifying a smaller set of studies uh, that fit criteria for inclusion and can inform research agenda. Then methodological step for how researchers can conduct systematic literature review and offer examples of bibliometric approaches to visualize result. That is the first one is at the first stage, we provide a background information on the increasing interest in the conducting systematic literature review. Next step, we would talk about next step that is involved conducting a systematic literature review. And these includes cleaning, analyzing, and synthesis of the data and the presentation of the results. So bibliometric, bibliographic mapping approaches for visualizing data. And further, then we will move to the second one is the, that is the background. And uh, academic knowledge is expanding exponentially. Every day, thousands of the new articles, reports, and other materials are published. So these trends mean that there is an unsystematic uh, proliferation of knowledge across numerous different outlets and academic disciplines. Then the systematic literature review can help overcome these limitations and help with several aspects of the research process, like establishing a context and uh, delimiting a research problem, seeking theoretical support, rationalizing a problem, new line of inquiry, as well as here is avoiding, here is fruitless research. And question becomes what is already known and not known about the topic or issue under investigation and what are truthful avenues for further investigations. So there are the major research streams and future research directions that could be available after this. And what is the new research field theory and how does it relate to existing field or theories? Literature review can be useful if a researcher is motivating by lack of the research on a particular issue or topic. So easily we could be able to identify and further is a general distinction between reviews is that can be author centric or theme centric in their orientation.
So author sentient reviews go through the publications written by certain authors or team of authors or one by one and present a summary of relevant findings. But author here is has also published this topic and arrive at the following conclusions and so on. A more common approach is the uh, theme centric review in which the researcher guides and uh, reader through ways that prior publications have contributed to developing a, our understanding of themes and concepts or phenomena of the interest. Then further, irrespective of the approach author or theme centering, many authors often only review selected publications in their literature review selection and uh, create a narrative rather than a systematic literature review. So this idea of a systematic review process was driven by research needs in a medical sciences and healthcare, where the only reliable way of the determining the outcomes of the medical treatments is to synthesize available evidences on an issue, such as the effectiveness of the cancer drug. So it was started, and now the next third step, the third, third part of this research paper towards a systematic literature review. Here is the scientific strategy so that possible errors and biasnesses are are limited. Then the identification of literature for, con for inclusion. So prior to constructing a systematic literature review, an important step two is to clarify the topic or issue under investigation. A good systematic review will have a clear focal point and focus on evidence that has been published on a topic or questions. And here is the researchers should investigate are there already existing reviews on this specific issue? or research questions under investigations. So in this case, a uh, replication might not be warranted, and uh, but an extension of update could prove yourself. So are there many published articles on that particular topic? So further is data cleaning, because once the range of the suitable studies is identified, duplicate need to be removed from the analysis, and in addition, studies that are not relevant need to be removed, false positive in a search, uh, process can occur. And uh, some programs like here is his site. See, I mean, we the, that paper particularly mentioned here offer functionality to remove duplicates and to carry out a cited reference to check automatically. So further is analysis and synthesis, and it is a vital step for any systematic review in the synthesis and synthesis of the available evidence and depends on the number of the studies that will be included in the review, the type of the research method used by individual studies, and the quality of the evidences and the chosen analytical or visualization of the technique. So uh, here is the publication is conceptual, the sampling method, as well as the key findings for systematic review of, that contain larger sample of the studies, the analysis will partially depends on the type of the evidence that the systematic review has uncovered. So here is further is the presentation of the result. So there are the numerous ways of the present the result of a systematic literature review. Underlying the review has many qualitative data. Researchers can prepare a qualitative analysis and as well as aside from perhaps incorporating some traditional prescriptive statistics also like a frequency table. And alternative options for the presentation of the results are offered by various software packages like bibliomat bibliographic mapping approaches that can be used for visualization of the research on a topic or theme. So how we have to go for bibliographic mapping tool. So here is there are so many ways that is available. Like his site is a program that allows a researcher to map influential publication within a field of the research and their interrelationships and allows for an uh, you can see here, this is the particular assessment of the development of through and topic. So you can see that would be the output. And uh, further, we can go for, there is further bibliometric analysis, systematic review using R. So R package is also available, uh, like BiblioShiny package is there through which you can go for this visualization of this data. And that is the outcomes chronological order you can receive 
after the uploading your file and these are the outcomes or through our studio biblio shiny and a graph of authors uh, statistics over time can also be produced right and graph on the top 10 authors over the time can be produced these kind of uh, these kind of networking also it would be reflected over here right and further is this kind of we can say here this one is the examples of the using topic extracted by the entire linking and topic extension ex extraction tools is also available here here and as well as research gap also we can find out so business, here is the these are the few ways you can see a beautiful gra graphical representation over here and you can report in your research paper and this is the networking right maximum spanning trees is also you can produce and as well as further we can discussion and conclusion in this paper a beautifully they had uh, uh, expressed the various ways of the visualizing literature review presented in the article have unique advantages and disadvantages his side also what could be how you have to use and the here is the worst detection algorithms also trending topics also ultimately the suitability of the chosen approach for conducting and visualizing a systematic review depends on the aim set out by the researcher and systematic literature review we emphasize the important role and the systematic literature review can play in academic research to gather existing knowledge and to examine the state of the field so these kind of journals, they are some journals are very specific to publish review papers only. So you can target these review journals where is you can uh, send your research paper and you can publish your research paper. So I'm sure this video would be helpful to you and uh, you can go through this paper and I'm sure you could be able to write, uh, you could be able to distinguish between systematic literature review and bibliometric analysis. Thanks. Keep watching.